Guys, so in X1, the humans were kind of being a bunch of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully in this movie, everybody just gets their act together, okay? So we're getting through all the X-Men movies, so that way we can move further into the MCU universe. This is the spot where I plug the Patreon, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Let's go. It's, I know it is Fox. It is Fox movies. What the heck? <laughs> You're so aggravating. <laughs> Everyone in the world has to do that to that, right? Don't you? No, but it's Marvel too, so what? Yeah, they always throw the Marvel screen on the Why'd y'all take it off Disney Plus then? Since the discovery of their existence, they have been regarded with fear, often hatred. Are mutants the next link in the evolutionary chain? Or simply a new species of humanity? Those are some tough Sharing freaking questions. The they are. been humanity's defining attribute. Ask me this time. Neurons and synapses. Neurons and synapses. Or synapsi. Guys, I'm getting a haircut, I promise. I gotta make some time, but I'm getting one. Circle vault. We must not be enemies. Though passion may have strained, it must not break the bonds of our affection. Lincoln said that in his first inaugural address as our Abraham. 16th president. Look at George back there. Who's that, Kennedy? Can't tell. Not this dude. What was that noise? That's gonna be it. Excuse me, sir. Are you lost? Oh! He has a tail? He looks like that thing off Insidious. What do you do? <laughs> There's an opossum in the building. <laughs> oh. And it's just dropping y'all. It's outside the Oval Office. Lock this place down! This is stressful. Man, you would think they'd have better weapons against these mutants, right? Aren't they prepared for this? Yeah, well, he can just dissolve. And Bro. then they shoot. Oh my gosh. You get an air purifier. Or a Pokeball. <gasps> mm. Oh my god. Mutant freedom now. They almost assassinated the president over that. Man, that was crazy. They just infiltrated. Easily. I don't want to beat a damn dead horse over here, but geez, you're not making your case very good. There he goes. What's up, In Logan? his natural habitat. Where you can chop down some trees. <laughs> he wanted to lick the atmosphere real quick. This man just smoking cigar on a hike, though. Like, what the heck? Jon Snow. Logan does kind of look like he can man the wall, don't he? You make a good steward. <laughs> you jacked up. Alkali Lake? Is that what that says? Yeah. Whoa. What happened? It got snowed over? I don't know. <gasps> Neanderthals. That was scary. Storm works at the museum now. Us. <laughs> right. Oh. Gene, <Party. laughs> you got a haircut? Come on. Pay attention. Whoa, she's getting some premonitions or something. Is she psychic? Dang, that would be hard. Gene? It's not just a headache, is it? Oh, because she linked herself up to that thing. This is a rebro? Right. Just your telepathy. A month ago, you had to concentrate just to levitate a book. I keep feeling something terrible is about to happen. I would never let anything happen to you. Have you guys seen Bobby and Rogue? Oh, snap. They done ran off. Why are you being such a dick? Yeah, why are you being such a dick? Can I have a light? Mm. Sorry, I can't help you out, pal. Why would you walk up to those dudes and ask them that, though? I don't know. Hey! That's real cute, man. Oh! So he can control fire. Yeah, he's got fire powers. Bro, now they know he's involved. He could have denied that. But he helped him. What? Isn't there a challenge back in the day of this? Like the mannequin challenge? Yeah. They already like passed that one. Look how scared he looks. <laughs> I didn't do this. No, I did. Charles? Next time you feel like showing off, don't. Been an attack in the Oval Office of the White House. President and Vice President were not armed. Sources say the attack involved one or more mutants. 
I think it's no. time to leave, Professor. Man, so everything's every time something bad happens, basically, he has to go in and take all the responsibility for it. Because he's the one putting himself out there to do good. Like he's the head of that school. Mm -hmm. A lot of accountability. But you know how the government will respond? They'll reintroduce the registration act. Place every mutant in the country under arrest. I've been trying to track him using Cerebro, but his movements are inexplicably erratic. But I yeah. have exact coordinates. What do you need, William? Just your authorization for a special operation. Well, here comes some military industrial Somehow, complex. Senator, Mr. President. That's a... Uh, he ha remember he is a mutant, right? Colonel William Stryker. As I recall, you were a staunch supporter of the Registration Act, Senator. But it seems your ideas on the mutant problem have changed recently. <laughs> so, what are you? What was her name? Do you remember? Mr. Stryker. Who's her? Uh, the yeah. blue girl. That's Mystique. her. Mystique. Mystique. That's Mystique right there. No. Yeah, Mystique turned into the senator. Oh. In the last movie. We've managed to gather evidence. He sounds like a clicker. Training facility in the Salem region. Of upstate New York. Interrogation of one of the mutant terrorists from the Liberty Island incident. Eric Lencher, you have access to him? <laughs> we developed the technology that built his plastic prison. You better hush your mouth. Spilling all the beans. Prison. This facility is a school. Sure it is. The hell is that? A jet. What kind of jet? We don't know. But it comes up out of the basketball court. Wow, that guy's like always a political figure, that actor. William, you enter, you detain, you question, but the last thing we need to see is the body of a mutant kid on the six o'clock news. That's sinister right there. This is Yuriko, my personal assistant. What a handshake. <laughs> uh, Eric Lencher's prison. I'd like to arrange a visit if possible. It isn't a petting zoo, Senator. Riker, do you really want to turn this into some kind of war? I was piloting black ops missions in the jungles of North Vietnam where you were sucking on your mama's tit at Woodstock, Kelly. <laughs> Don't lecture me about Yeah, hippie war. boy. <laughs> this already is a war. Wow. You're right. It was Mystique. I, I, I forgot. Yeah, you forgot that? Yeah. I thought he turned into a weird water thing. <laughs> Look at them farting it up. Can't she not be touching? Man, you better back up, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't want to hurt you. Not for you. I'm not afraid. <laughs> That's jacked up. How'd they draw that so good, though? Okay. Do you think that's such a turn off for that kid? Every time Logan pops up, he's like, what the heck? Not yeah, she runs up. Hey, yeah. Who's this? Oh, this is Bobby. He's easily like 38. Look. Call me Iceman. Oh. Oh, he sized him up. <laughs> Boyfriend? So how do you guys... Well, we're still working on that. Babysitter. <laughs> nice to see you again, Logan. Hi, Logan. Logan's oh. like a stud when he walks in, ain't he? Jeez. <laughs> Everyone comes walking down the stairs yeah, to see well, him. Good to meet you. Let's go. What Hi, in the I'll world? See, I'll see you later. Okay. I mean, she's just a girl with a crush. She has a boyfriend. She needs to chill. Yeah. Storm and I are heading to... And that's Jean's van. He won't be gone. The professor wants us to track down a mutant who attacked the president. Oh, I could probably think of a few reasons to stick around. Find what you were looking for, Logan. <laughs> Sassy. Bye. See you. They're so confusing. <laughs> Your bike needs gas. And fill her up. Ooh. Joke's still on you, though, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> he just gave the bike away again. <laughs> I know, that whole situation is just a little awkward, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, because we don't know much about it. Right. The once future king. How long can we keep this up? How long is your sentence? Forever. What? I mean, I don't like him either, but dang. Look, he's convulsing. What is this? Whoa. Some serum? You can go. Now. Oh, he's doped up, huh? About the house that Xavier built and the machine called Cerebro. So he's not about, he's not about like representing humans, none of that. He just wants that Cerebro machine. 
And I don't trust him. I think he's got a hidden agenda. Me too. Continue smoking that in here, and you'll spend the rest of your days under the belief that you're a six-year-old girl. <laughs> you do that? I'd have Jean braid your hair. <laughs> That's crazy. He's just hopping on Cerebro real quick. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even say, like, nice to see you. <laughs> he just put that out on his hand. Why not just pull the claw out? Oh, it hurts, right? Boom. <laughs> you want me to leave? I would be like, I feel like I'll get cancer with being in here. These lights represent every living person on the planet. The white lights are humans. And these are the mutants. Whoa. There's quite a lot. Through Cerebro, I'm connected to them. And they to me. I found the base at Alkali Lake. Ain't that such an invasion of privacy, though? Nothing. Yeah, but isn't it majestic AF? The broken line represents the path of the mutant who attacked the president. I've been finding it difficult to get a lock on him. Damn. Looks like he's finally stopped running. I need you to read my mind again. Didn't you just come back making demands? I'm afraid the results will be the same as before. We had a deal. I have no doubt that your amnesia, your adamantium skeleton, the claws are all somehow connected, but sometimes the mind needs to discover things for itself. Right, if you force it too quick. If you will be kind enough to watch over the children tonight, Scott and I are going to visit an old friend. Logan, the babysitter. He's like, I just got back. I'm smoking in here. <laughs> Plane's tough. <laughs> I'm sending the coordinates of where the mutants Dang, Gene's just flying down. that thing. As soon as you find him, bring him back to the mansion. So this movie really is political, huh? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize it was gonna be so wrapped in politics. There she is. <laughs> that actor's girl walk was so funny. Did you see it? Yeah. Whoa. Man, I bet the makeup and all the time it took to make that was crazy. Yeah, probably so. Striker, William. <laughs> Is all who's watching him? Yeah, he's in some type of like high looking complex, isn't he? A plastic prison. He's like, oh, what's this? Dang, we're really familiar with that, but they, they have no idea. Cerebro 2. They're rebuilding it. Probably Maybe to so find they all can the track them down for work, bad things. Right. Oh, that sucks. So they have like a whole base. Is that the actual lady? Where did she go? Is she in the ceiling? What are you doing in here? Oh, that's her. Garbage. Don't you have to get in with like your hand and all that? <laughs> Top secret. <laughs> he said, Mama Mia. <laughs> he said, Who is that? Nature laughs. Boston. Oh, Last. nature laughs last. That's like some pro mutant, right? I don't know. <laughs> is it the whole idea that nature progresses into mutants? Yeah, probably. These are the He's German? He's a teleporter. Must be why the professor had trouble locking onto him. We're not here to hurt you. <laughs> why is he German though? <laughs> Got him. All right, now cut his tail off. Why? Because he tried to assassinate the president. I didn't mean to harm anyone. What's your name? Wagner. Kurt Wagner. I mean, even if he would have like succeeded in killing the president, you know how much turmoil that's going to cost in the country. True. But I mean, I get it. Tough time. I could see it all happening, but I couldn't stop myself. And before you were in the White House, what do you remember? Nothing. I was here. So he's not bad? I mean, I guess they're just taking his word for it. I'd rather get him back to the professor. the professor. Would you believe that he had amnesia? I don't really know him. Did you do these yourself? Yes. 
The same things on his neck that was on Magneto's. Yeah. So maybe he didn't remember. Maybe they're controlled by someone. Maybe it's one of those like, uh, what is it called? Like a Randstad event or something like that? Where the government brainwashes this mutant into killing the president so they have an excuse to go to war or oh, something. Oh yeah, you know probably. Like a false flag? Whoa. Following hundreds of can't sleep. How can you tell? Because you're awake. <laughs> right. How about you? I don't sleep. That sucks. You got to get a break from the world sometime. That's his superpower. Nah, dude, I would be good with it. I didn't have to sleep. I would love right that. Here. Apparently not. Burr. Got any beer? This is a school. <laughs> so that's a no? Yeah, that's a no. There should be some soda in the small cupboard. DP. He's sitting there like, why is your hair like that, bro? Whoa. Oh, he made it cool for him. He said, excuse me, young man, you mind blowing in my stuff real quick? Mm -hmm. He's the ice man. He's like, boy Elsa, you say? Yeah, boy Elsa. Sorry, guys, I just really needed some s'mores. Oh, yeah, he goes and visits him. Right. In a, what is that, like a plastic or a plexiglass wheelchair? That's so cool. Xavier, you <laughs> have to rescue me. The assassination attempt on the president. What do you know about it? Nothing. What's <laughs> happened to you? I've had frequent visits from William Stryker. His son, Jason, was once a student of yours, wasn't he? Yes, years ago. Hmm. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to help him. At least not in the way that his father wanted. Who is Stryker? Um, Stryker's that guy. How long have you been? The president. Couple right? Years. No, Stryker's a mutant. You off to mutant. No, his son is. My parents think this is a prep school. Oh, wow. Oh, I see. His parents don't even know he's a mutant. So you and Rose. That's so crazy. sad. Yeah, it's just that it's not easy when you want to be closer to someone, but you can't. Yeah, I feel for I you, too. Now you look at Dr. Gray. Excuse me? <laughs> you haven't told him about his past, have you? I put him on the path. Logan's mind is still fragile. So he's scared that if Logan knows the truth about his origin, he'll go evil because he'll be so angry and bitter. Really? I'm sorry, Charles. I couldn't help it. You couldn't you help it. Stryker. No, Stryker's that guy that comes and visits. The war has begun. Woo! Man, they set him up. Sorry, baby, I'm freezing. Yeah. Is he getting carbon monoxide poisoning? Yeah, it seems like it. But now and then, every mother needs to get away. Without her, the babies are helpless. Mm. There's no one there, remember? Logan's the only one holding it down right now. Mm -hmm. Who is this, the United States military? Man, she's tough. You better go again. The one that walks through walls? Oh. Right. Hopefully she can walk through blow darts. They're infiltrating the school? They're taking it over. You picked the wrong house, Bob. <laughs> oh. So they're obviously under Magneto's order in some type of way, because that's what he was saying about the war had just begun. Maybe. So it's not necessarily the humans against the mutants necessarily. It's also Magneto against Charles. Mm -hmm. So the mutants are also in a civil war amongst themselves. Yeah, because some of them want to be good. And some of them are really radical about the cause. Right, and I'm pretty sure that the Wolverine is never going to get to be good. Because he's got like, what, four or five murder charges at this point? Mm-hmm. What? The metallic man. Whew. 
I wonder if he has a sharpen them thing. You think that stuff that shot away doesn't affect him? Because he can self regenerate? Yeah, probably. Secret passageway. Come on, hey, take him. He's stunned. I can help you. Help them. Who is that guy? Because I thought he's the only adult. How can you trust them? Maybe there's two. Oh, well, that hurt. So let me help you out with them. With them hangnails you got. Mm -hmm. They're really not playing though, are they? Mm -mm. They really aren't. That's cool that they can escape though. Oh my gosh. Dang. A double assassination. Come on, this way. This is it. <laughs> Wolverine? How long has it been? 15 years? This is the guy that made him, probably. He got old as hell. So he knows William Stryker? He said, that's daddy right there. Let me put my claws up. I guess. I think that he knew him back like... Xavier was taken in animals. Even animals as unique as you. Who are you? Don't you remember? Maybe he had one of those things on his neck, but it healed. Oh, it's that dude. No! No! Logan, come on, let's go. But Logan wants to know the truth. Why doesn't that dude just build an ice wall around the dang school? He ain't that strong. Logan, go, I'll be fine. But we won't. Go. Keep going. Dang. I know he risked his damn legs getting blown yeah. off. That was close. I get it. Get it. I'm driving. Hey, maybe next time. <laughs> he said, I'm driving. Oh, they got the Mazda RX-8. Oh, yeah. It's that Cyclops' car. <laughs> he always takes his crap. He just, took, he just took a blade and stuck it right in his ignition switch. Yeah, forget Cyclops. Logan's drifting on there. Who was that back there? Who is he? I can't remember. I don't know who that is, but he knows Logan. Well, he goes and visits Eric, aka Magneto. Here. This is yours. Maybe he created Logan to be like a mutant of war or something, obviously. He's pretty good at it. I don't like uncomfortable silences. What are you doing? <laughs> I don't think that's the CD player. Maybe put it on your eyes. So maybe don't touch it in case it blows up. Where are we going? Storm and Gina are in Boston. We'll head that way. My parents live in Boston. Good. Good. We'll drop you off at their house. Hey, that's the dude who said that his parents don't know he's a mutant. Oh, yeah. Good, good looking now. I forgot about that. Most of the mutants escaped through a series of tunnels that weren't in our schematics. We have several in custody. How many? Six, sir. Which six? How many nugs? Isn't that where the Cerebro machine is? Welcome, Professor. Yeah, Mystique was in his files and found out that he wanted to make a second one, remember? Mm -hmm. William Stryker. Yeah, I'm confused what his motives are, though, because he's in there talking to Magneto. Probably to defeat them, because he was asking Magneto about Cerebro. Well, yeah, but Magneto's not going to give him information, is he? No. Are we really gonna fight turn that shit off, Lou. Yeah, turn it off, Lou. <laughs> Man, she looks like the bar type, don't she? I'm Grace. Howdy, Grace. <laughs> it's damn good to meet you. That looks like Mystique with that little jumpsuit. Oh, it's a dress. And he's not going to see that in it. She's roofing my boy. Hey, you can get them little rubber things right there off that thing. You're really aggressive. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> You're really aggressive. Ew. I've never hooked up. It's, uh, 
It's kind of dirty in here, don't you think? That's the idea. Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> Bottoms up. Uh-oh. She's pulling the fruit of the looms off. Oh, yeah, that's her. Bottoms up. Right in the butt. Hmm. What is she injecting? Is he turning him into a mutant? That's what they did in the first movie. They just get off on taking people who don't like mutants and turn them into mutants. I don't know. It's kind of weird, bro. Or maybe they're trying to build more soldiers for their army. Maybe. I call it the neural inhibitor. It keeps you out of here. What have you done with Scott? I'm just giving him a little re-education. You know all about that, don't they you? They took him to the gulag. You wanted me to cure your son. But mutation is not a disease. You're lying. Oh, that's his motive, his son. Remember his son was at a school. Of him than I was. He resented us. He blamed us for his condition. So he would toy with our minds, projecting visions and scenarios into our brains. My wife, in the end, she took a power drill to her left temple. Oh my oh, god. Man. Bore the images out. For someone who hates mutants, he certainly keeps some strange company. Oh, oh she could start to feel her powers coming back or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, so he's trying to control all the mutants. You arranged the attack on the president. You didn't even have to read my mind. <laughs> Nobody really knows how many even exist or how to find them. Yeah, he does. Except you. Yeah, but for good reasons. Allow me to introduce Mutant 143. The fluid secreted by his brain acts as a mind controlling mm. agent. Poor guy. Oh That's his son. God, William, this is your son. What this have you done? Crazy. No, Charles. My son is dead. Just like the rest of you. So what can he do? We're about to find out. He's dangerous, apparently. Mom, Dad. Ronnie, is anybody home? Did my man just walk in the house with boxers on? I'm trying to find you some clothes. She has on. She is on pajamas too. Don't burn me. Hey, found some of my mom's old clothes. Groovy. Hello. It's a cell phone? That's pretty Hello. cool. Gene, where are you? Is he mad about a family? He looked jealous or something. These are my grandmothers. I'd make that girl rub my shoulders every day, boys. Why? So she could kill you? No, because she can touch him as long as she touches the sweater. She just blew out the ice. I'm, I'm sorry. That sucks, man. What do you even do? I still feel so bad for that poor little girl, though. That's terrible. Like, she has the worst one yet. Like, she basically can't, like, be loved as a human. Right. No, a flurkin. What the heck? Mm. <gasps> who the hell are you? Uh, Bobby. Bobby, who is this guy? This is my professor. Uh, this is Professor Logan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's all you can say, really. And he's just chugging beer. Don't worry about it. He parties with us. There's something I need to tell you. Oh, jeez. So he's going to have to tell them right now. He's going to be like, I'm a mutant. And mom's going to be like, ah. Oh. I thought you were transferring to Auburn. <laughs> <laughs> There's something different about you, Mr. Laurier. Yeah, I was having a good day. Sit your ass down. What could it be? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Uh, there it is. Too much iron in your blood. Oh, there just ain't no way. Ah. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my. The man was taking iron pills or something? Mr. Laurier, no. Maybe ate too much cereal? Woman, especially one who's interested in you. That's why she slept with him in the bathroom, man. She injected him with all that iron. Basically, yeah. Okay. That just tells you how little metal he needs. Took that straight out the bloodstream. That is 
crazy. I don't know, man. This dude might not be Gandalf no more. <laughs> we got us a Magneto in the building. <laughs> that was tough. Yeah, y'all better do Look at him. <laughs> Craziest villain ever? Probably. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, uh, when did you first know you were a... A mutant? Uh, we thought Bobby was going to a school for the gifted. Bobby is the gifted. We know that. This mutant problem is a little... What mutant problem? I mean, let's not pretend like there's not uh, some type of problem. Right. What exactly are you, Professor of, Mr. Hogan? Art. <laughs> well, you should see what Bobby can do. He said, Frappuccino, Mom. Ruining the dang coffee. What's that, tea or coffee? I can't mm -hmm. say, give me some, give me some. <laughs> Ronnie? This is all my fault. Actually, they discovered that males are the ones who carry the mutant gene and pass it on, so it's his fault. <laughs> Is that LJ? I need the police. There are people in nah, the there's Ronnie. <laughs> oh, he's snitching. I don't think that was him, baby. He doesn't look like him. Nobody's responding. I can't get a signal. Why don't you take a break? I'll keep trying. I'd be like, can I please get some blue and green lights in here, please? <laughs> All this orange. Whoa. She looks so cool now with her cape. He said we were all the same. So, what are they? The angelic symbols. How many do you have? One for every sin. No seven? No, his sins. Oh. Not the seven deadly ones. You and Miss Gray are school teachers? At a school for people like us. Where we can be safe. Safe from what? Everyone else. Most people were afraid of me. But I didn't hate them. I pitied them. Because most people will never know anything beyond what they see with their own two eyes. True. Well, I gave up on pity a long time ago. Didn't he try to assassinate the president, though? So not by his own control. Not be so Magneto. Yeah, because he put that thing on his neck. I knew that. Well, not Magneto Striker, right? Right, exactly, yeah. Storm, I found an active comm device. Where? Guys, I'm a total idiot. I knew that. I, I, I totally forgot there was. I didn't mean to say Magneto, I meant to say Striker. Oh, it's for me. It's for me, isn't it? His cell phone. Have you tried <laughs> not being a mutant? Well, no one's left, Gene. What Probably his whole children? life, Mom. Some of them escaped. I'm not sure about the rest. Where are you, Logan? Boston with Bobby Drake's family. Okay, we're on our way. We have what? To now. Why? Now. <laughs> Logan, what's wrong? Probably just running through the backyard like that. Because they're maybe trying to. <laughs> oh snap, they ain't Drop trying to hide it at all. Put your hands in the air. Yeah. Put the knives down. He can't. He would if I he could. Can't. Oh, he's alright. Look, kid, I said on the ground. Once again, man, that'd be tough, because you you have no idea what that mutant can do. Right. We don't want to hurt you, kid. Come on, heal, heal, heal. You he said nah. dangerous mutants you hear about on the news? I'm the worst one. Oh, oh my gosh. He's the flamethrower. Which is crazy. Is he's burning Bobby's house. <laughs> I know that family's perspective is gonna be like, remember the day we came home and all them damn mutants was in there? They burnt my front lawn up. Like you're getting serious jail time. Put him down. Oh, so she took his powers? Thank God she did. Wow. Nice. Is that Storm and Jean? Yeah, that's gotta be right. <laughs> Sorry guys, gotta go. That sucks for him, man. He's saying goodbye to his family. The problem is, is the mutants have God. evolved into like a mutation, but they haven't evolved past their like human yeah, instincts, right? To do, sh but to do stuff really like try to like assassinate people and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's just so scary. Is he standing? 
It's a dream, huh? Jason, stop it! Oh. He's messing with him. <laughs> it's all right. You can come out. Are they gone? Yes. Where are all the other students? I don't know. Well then, we'll have to find them, won't we? We'll use Cerebro. Who's this? They're using that psychic to somehow get this a rebrand. Yeah, yeah, to get in his mind to show them where something is, or something. I've got two signals approaching. Oh snap! There's some boys on them. I'll be so stressed. Five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> They're falling back. Yeah, the shot's coming now. They're mocking us. What? They're gonna fire. Hang on. I gotta shake them. Oh my gosh, I would not want to be on that. I would feel so nauseous. Please don't do that again. I agree. <laughs> don't we have any weapons in this heat? Man, she Storm. always comes in handy. Storms the weapon. What is she gonna do? Oh, more electricity. Oh, let's go. See, that's scary, dude. Like, she can do that. Oh my gosh. That's an amazing skill. Those pilots right there are tripping for even being in that. Everybody okay back there? No. Oh, here it comes. Oh my god, there's two of them. Oh my god. You better get another tornado. Oh, here she goes. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's go. One more. There's one more. Gene. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, but they still took some impact. Oh, that could have been so much worse. Yes. <gasps> Whoa! So when does... Who is that? Rogue. Who's got the power? Him! He can do it. He can go... <laughs> oh, there he goes. Wow. That was, that was fire. Okay, and he like saved that. her. That would be so scary to just get ejected from a plane like that, though, Rogue. Yeah, it would. That was so cool. Mm. Gene? It's not me. Whoa! That's dope, dude. Who Look at that? him. Magneto. <gasps> oh my gosh. He kind of saved him from impact. Man, I don't know. He could have just let him hit the ground. He'd have had a lot less problems. Thank you. That's your welcome, I think. Mm -hmm. In German? Can you hear what they're saying? I could take a closer look. His name is Colonel William Stryker. He wanted Cerebro. Stryker would need the professor to operate it. Which I think is the only reason my old friend is still alive. Is he helping him? Charles's mind to get Charles back? The living person on the planet. If he See. were forced to concentrate hard enough on a particular group, he could kill us all. How would Stryker even know where to find Cerebro in the first place? Because I told him. Why? Charles build it, remember? Facts, facts. Mr. Stryker has powerful methods of persuasion. Oh, with that neck thing. He's a military scientist. He spent his whole life trying to solve the mutant problem. Why don't you ask Wolverine? You He's like, you? why? I don't know. William Stryker, the only other man I know who can manipulate adamantium. Metal on your bones. Oh, well, so I was right, basically. The professor trusted you were smart enough to discover this on your own. He gives you more credit than I do. <laughs> the Steak has discovered plans of a base that Stryker's been operating out of for decades. 
We know that's where he's building the second Cerebro, but we don't know where this base is, and I believe one of you might. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> I, I was dropping no eaves, I promise. <laughs> Just try and relax. Dang, he was in that place Alkali, like Logan was. Right. Striker said Alkali Lake. That's the frozen place. There's nothing left. There's nothing left on the surface, Logan. The base is underground. He's like, huh? What the hell? <laughs> I never thought about that. What the? <laughs> you okay? Yeah. And it's like four or five hours before I can get it off the ground. It's not what I meant. Just worried. That's God. I'm worried about you. <laughs> there was some display of power up there. Come on. A little shoulder touch. Like Miles' uncle. Hey. I love him. Do you? Girls flirt with the dangerous guy, Logan. You don't take him home. <laughs> I could be the good guy. I don't know how I feel about that, Logan. Eyeballs might see you. Please, don't make me do this. Do what? That's such a girl thing to do. Don't make me do this. That was kind of cold, Jean. But I don't know if you were like in a relationship. No, <laughs> no, she is, 100%. She just said she loves Scott. Their voice. Whoa. Even their voice. Then why not stay in disguise all the time? Look like everyone else. Because we shouldn't have to. So he's really on Mystique's side? I don't know. I was goofing off. Who would have thought? <laughs> I guess we'll find out, though. Oh, no, no. It's just because... They're teamed up. I mean, they're just teamed up. Yeah. So technically, yeah, they're on each other's side, I guess. Uh-oh. Coming up in the tent. Look. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I'm telling Scott's Scott. gonna turn into a bad guy now. I'm telling Scott. Not right now, after the war. He's like something about that hedgehog haircut. Oh. Left a scar quite like you. What do you well, he got played up. <laughs> so did I. For what do you want? Who's that? Whoa. Don't be that little girl. She's intrusive. What do you really want? <laughs> right there. That's what he wants. <laughs> I want you to get out. Did she just shoot her shot? I don't know. She's just farty, bro. <laughs> Why don't we get uniforms? Yeah, where's ours? They're on order. Should arrive in a few years. <laughs> yep. We love what you've done with your hair. What in the world? They're giggling like that about that. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Why? Because because so, he did it to her hair. They say you're the bad <laughs> he guy. He put her in that machine. I know. Why are they so childish? Is that what they say? It's a dorky looking helmet. This dorky looking helmet is the only thing that's going to protect me from the real bad guys. What's your name? John. What's your real name, John? Pyromancer. Pyromancer. Pyro. Almost. Talent, you have. I can only manipulate the fire. I can't create it. You are a god among insects. <laughs> Never let anyone tell you different. Oh. He's like, hell yeah, dark father figure. Ego stroked. Right. He's like, I support Magneto's claim. Yeah, because he's the worst one of them, <laughs> remember? Why are we keeping the children here? When I build the machine, I want to make sure that it's working. Oh, some lab rats. All right, this is a topographic map of the dam. That's the entrance. If we go in there, Striker could flood the spillway. Can you teleport inside? No, I have to be able to see where I'm going. Otherwise, I could wind up inside a wall. No, God, that's <laughs> scary. <laughs> I have a hunch you'll want me alive. Whoever goes into the dam needs to be able to operate the spillway mechanism. Scratch it with your claws. <laughs> I'll take my chances. But I won't. Mystique's going the true warrior. So there's someone coming down the spillway. Dang, so he really is just gonna walk in like that. Wait. Strike up! <laughs> Look who's come home. 
That is not good. That guy walked out with a machine. Oh my gosh. Dang, they really got them strapped up, don't they? Mm hmm. The one thing I know better than anyone is my own work. Seal the room, shoot it. <laughs> Man, this movie keeps tricking me. This is fun. I know. It's because of Mystique. She's so mysterious. She makes every, like, thing confusing. She's so much better adept to handle so many people like this. Yeah. She's awesome. I really like her character. Even though she's, like, evil and I'm not supposed to like her, so I'm going to hold that position. I really like her character a lot. Yeah, her character is pretty cool. This music. Do a slide. She did something like that in the first one. Everything's controlled from inside that room. That's why the doors are so thick. Oh, really? <laughs> Get some charges. Blow the doors open. I'm in. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> you have no idea. Does she free the kids, though? How evil is she? We'll see. Bye. Nothing. She's opened the spillway doors. <laughs> More mutants have entered the base. Gather the rest of your men and meet me outside Cerebro. You carry on. When I come back, I want this door open all the way. Whatever you say, sir. Don't leave me alone, please. You can come inside. I'm confused what's going on here. Remember, he's still just getting inside of mm -hmm. his head. So he's so deep in his head, basically, guys, that he doesn't realize that he's in a false reality. Right. Right. You know, and then like there's some cute little girl manipulating him, and you know. He's a professor. Right. He can't help but help them, especially if they're mutant with the different colored eyes. I'll be honest though, their base is kind of cruddy, bro. <laughs> she didn't even look scared. Yeah, because she's definitely not. She not got thrown once. <laughs> a large portion of energy from the dam has been diverted to this chamber. Cerebro. There it is. Countless little time. Not without us. <laughs> Children. Kurt, will you come with me? Yes. They're being held in a containment cell. We'll level down. Stryker. We'll get the children and meet you at Cerebro. I'll try to find Scott and the professor. Right, he just took us? his headphone out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah he's got some revenge to its end, too. Or some questions. They're like, this is why I stick to Scott. But if I'm Scott, I'm just not letting Logan and my girl go nowhere together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, why? I'm going to be on the mission, too. <laughs> so he uses his own son as a tool. Not good. I'm assuming that he made his son build all this because he's like psychic on some level, you know? I don't know. Because I'm assuming this guy didn't build it. Jason. It's time. Time to find our friends. <gasps> don't do it, Charles. Difference? All of the mutants. All the mutants? Everywhere. That's right. Every one of them? Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. But he's a mutant. Yeah. You don't want to stay and see the show? I guess he can't. Right. What's going to happen? Kill anyone who approaches. Dude, this is kind of intense, bro. <laughs> this is like the anticipation. He said anyone who approaches, even if it's him. Because nothing's more important than this to him. He's so radical. He's like a Hitlerian figure for sure. Whoa, whoa, he whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> She's gonna have to fight her boyfriend. Use that as an excuse. I just can't see the same Scott. I'm moving on to Logan. Dang. Oh man, busting out there. Scott! Scott? Hey, Emily? Storm! Okay, we're coming. <laughs> Abby scared two kids. <laughs> Wouldn't you imagine if you were a mutant, you'd be more open to that, though? Yeah. I would be. Because at that school, there's probably a bunch of crazy stuff. Right. Not too crazy, though. They all look like humans for the most part. Yeah. Why do some look so odd? Have they explained that yet? Mm-mm. 
It's just the luck of the draw, I guess. I don't know. I guess it's like, or maybe if someone's like experimented with you. Now she's got to fight. That medicine subsides eventually, right? Because he keeps having to inject him. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So I wonder if like a like fall damage will help. I don't know, but she might have to fight for 12 rounds. Hopefully she can beat him to the bell. I hope your plans come into an end. I would have looked up before I took my glasses off. <laughs> like I just would have been like, <laughs> I don't know. Ah! Gee, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. She didn't say it back. No, she said it first. Not just now. Mm -hmm. Did she Rewind it. Something's wrong. I'll take your word for it. I just read the subtitles. Yes. I'm trying. There are so many of them. When I hear water, I just think it's that senator for some reason. You think it's what? That senator, because he turned into water. <laughs> yeah. Senator Drip. <laughs> His Whoa. plans. That's where they made him at? Have they... Did he set all that up for him? Or did he leave it up there this whole time? Or is he remembering because he's been here? No, he's not the only the person the from here. So is that blue guy. Yeah, that's true. But he doesn't have any claws in his hands. That's the metal they put in him. Mm. My man's had a hard come up for real. That would suck. He got straight tortured. He said, man, I put him in a fight. <laughs> Oh, that would hurt. The tricky thing about adamantium is that's the metal. That if you ever manage to process its raw liquid form, you got to keep it that way. Because once the metal cools, it's indestructible. It's like vibranium. I used to think you were one of a kind, Wolverine. Maybe it is the same metal, but in this universe, they just call it something different. Maybe. I was wrong. He's like a camera eye. How did he not see that coming? <laughs> Do you think she was going to let him by? He must have been blinded by the rage, I guess. <laughs> oh! She's like the same thing? That is not good. She's like a, gir a girl Wolverine? Right. Oh! <laughs> She's been a silent warrior this whole time. <laughs> Yeah, for real. <laughs> that would suck to be getting sliced up like that. Someone's going in the metal, right? Right, that's what they're indicating by putting it in the bottom. Oh, it looks like it might be her. Does she reheal? <gasps> that's his sister. That was dark. Ooh. Y'all are fighting way too close to like very valuable and breakable things. She's like Katana. Off Mortal Kombat. Uh oh. Oh my god. Too much stabbing. Ooh. Oh. No way. Yeah, I would imagine she's highly conductible. That's it. Think you're going? Sick of this kid's table shit. I'm going in there. John, they told us to stay here. Right on, John. You always do as you're told. Right. Man, don't even got a coat. Oh my gosh, Logan! Come on. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh. What if that just helps her? I don't think so. Her eyes just went out. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. He knows what kind of he knows what kind of death he just gave her. 
Oh, she's just all metal. Find them. Find them all. Each one. All of them. Good. Kill them. These have been so crazy, these Cerebro trips. Magneto? I heard a scratch. It might be Logue. Oh, yep. Yeah, it's definitely. Magneto. It's Magneto. Wow. These guys are dumb. Why would you hold that on your chest? <laughs> they just don't study the opponent. I'm coming in with nerf guns, boys. <laughs> when he puts on this helmet, it's so crazy. He looks so cool on it. Like how more cinematically can he put on a helmet? Now find them all. Find all the mutants. That was a crazy transition. Oh no. Whoa, you saw her changing into all these different people? Oh no. Is that doing that to all of them in the world? I think to every mutant. I think that's because of Charles. Because he's being manipulated by that guy, Jason? He's about to throw him off. <laughs> How does it look from there, Charles? Still fighting the good fight? It doesn't look like they're playing by your rules. Maybe it's time to play by theirs. <laughs> See, this is where it gets complicated, right? Now, now Magneto's about to double cross. Mm. Oh, is he about to put it back together? Dang. There's pops. Mm-hmm. There's been a change of plan. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> He's like, dang, pops, the agenda changed crazy, didn't it? Goodbye, Charles. He's just leaving him in that mind state, babe. Goodbye, Charles. They left him like that. Dang. The plan is them two are just going to stay in there. There's been a change of plans. Are they thinking about humans? Find them. Find them all. The, the humans. blue, they're... Find oh the my white. God. Yeah. Wow. Magneto, you're a son of a gun, bro. Ain't worth a dang. <laughs> Scoundrel. <laughs> He's like Loki. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I didn't want to compare him. <laughs> dang, left jab. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do this to me? Yeah. He he always says bub. Mm -hmm. I love that. My life. You make it sound as if I stole something from him. As I recall, it was you who volunteered for the procedure. Hmm? Huh? Says you. You are just a failed experiment. <laughs> ah! If you really knew about your past, what kind of person you were, the work we did together. People don't change, my brain. You're an animal then. You're an animal now. I just gave you claws. I helped you be the animal. You should be. I animalized your ass. <laughs> Security breach. This is about to look crazy. The dam's ruptured. It's gonna flood water into the spillway. In a few minutes, we'll all be underwater. Come with me and I'll tell you everything you want to know. Uh-uh. You're a survivor. Always have been. I thought I was just an animal. With claws. If we die, you die. I mean, straight up. Chained up, boy. Dang. We don't got time for you. Then you tied him up with just that little hook. <laughs> I'd be shimmying. I know. <laughs> Cerebral. Dean, are you okay? The professor's still in there with another mutant. He's trapped in some kind of. Illusion. Magneto's reverse cerebro. It's not targeting mutants anymore. Who is it targeting? Everyone else. Yeah, and they could just be like, who cares? <laughs> but they're they not. They could be, yeah. It's insane they have a weapon that can do that. That is crazy. Mm -hmm. Wait, who needs all the infinity stones? Oh, now they're all... Impossible! 
America, Europe. I wonder what I was doing in 2003 when they did this. Probably being a middle schooler. The president. Everybody stand back. Scott, no. His mind is connected to Cerebro. If opening the door could kill him and everyone his mind is linked to. Wait. Kurt, I need you to take me inside. Wait, Storm, who is this guy? Who are you? <laughs> My name is Kurt Wagner. But in the Munich He's Circus... Up. He's a teleporter. If I can't see where I'm going... I have faith in you. Easy for you to say. He's trying to tell you he can't see. Don't He's about to go through that wall and fall off the dang edge. What about the girl that walked through walls? Can she do it? She's no. not there. She but can't do it. I think that they're using the religion as a way of saying that, like, we're very similar. That's so cute that she went with them, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. The last line of defense. What are you looking for? Professor? Can you hear me? Who are you talking to? No, don't move. But she's just a little girl. Yeah, no, she's, not. she's tricking you up. Mr. Striker. Sonny, we keep running into each other. <laughs> Mark my words, it'll never happen again. Uh -oh. oh. It's about to get very cold in here. I'm not going anywhere. What are you doing? Is she about to freeze that dude out or something? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's Pyro, right? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Is the idea that he can't focus on the humans if he's so cold? Maybe. Save the day, maybe. Good job, Storm. Yeah, good job. She handled that cold. <laughs> Literally. Crossfade cold. Yeah, she was crossfade cold. <laughs> Morgan. Morgan, where are you? Not Scott. <laughs> well, she knows where Scott is. She don't give a hand bone about Scott, does she? Jason, join the squad. Dang, saved your life. And his. Good job, dude. Are you gonna save Jason's? He might be a lost cause. We have to get out to the spillway. That would be stressful if he got wiped up by that, though. You don't wanna go that way. Trust me. Out of here. Man, they sealed it up. Nope. Oh my gosh, that's about to be insane. I was about to say, there ain't no stopping that. I was about to say, how do they do that? The Dems eruption. Ooh. Poor little dude. The helicopter's right here! How do you lose a heli? Remember Magneto came. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot about that. Kind of a lot going on in this movie, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of action. <laughs> Definitely not Magneto. Mm -hmm. Good job. Well, he did come and he did chain somebody to a plane. Yeah. I will take him. Okay. <laughs> Hugs. All you have to do is give him a hug and you can go somewhere. Why are you just going to take that little boy, though? You don't got time to go drop him off. <laughs> it's okay, Rogue. It's okay. You can let go, honey. Let go. Oh. Who has the answers, Wolverine? Those people? I'll take my chances with him. Let's go. One day! Someone will finish what I've started, Wolverine! <laughs> Man, that's crazy. That's a really bad, God. bad guy we got out the way. Mm -hmm. Gotta get to Washington. We got to get to Washington. I fear this is gonna be on the Alkali Lake. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? 
Vertical thrusters are offline. So fix. I'm trying. Pyro? Where the hell is he? Oh my gosh, I bet Magneto has him. Yeah, he jumped shit. Yeah. You already know. All Magneto had to do is give him a compliment. Remember, he's looking at that family. He just wants to fit in. Oh no. Yeah. He's just a lost kid, huh? The Dan's about to swallow them up. Not if Jean has. Man, there ain't. It. Baby, she can't do that. Jean, stop. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Girl, stop. Since she got a new haircut, she got like new powers. She evolved. Why are you looking all sad for? I don't know. It's confusing me. She's gonna sacrifice herself. But she's hobbling. Jean. Wait, where's Jean? She's outside. Scott ran first. <laughs> Always in the movies, they have to like be Make flying, it. even though they're in control. They still gotta go right now. Right. <laughs> she does remind me of Wanda, though. Who? Uh, Jean. Yeah, because she can control a bunch of stuff. Yeah, well, that and she got right here. Yeah, true. I can't. Maybe it's her mom. Hey, maybe. What if it's her and Scott or Wolverine's kid? Whichever one she chooses in the next three movies. <laughs> Heck no. She's Moses. She's a warrior. She didn't even care. She went out there and just did that. You get it now. She's not letting me. Yeah, you can't do that. The minute you get her, your ship's gonna go underwater, right? You're such a human, Wolverine. I know what I'm doing. Whoa. This is the only way. Listen to me. Don't do this. Goodbye. No, no. no way. No, she doesn't. Is she lifting the plane? Oh, she's badass, dude. Hell no. And she's about to fix it, probably. Maybe she would rather go down in that water than have to deal with, like, liking two men like that. Maybe that's easier for her. That was so sad, bro. For real. She's gone. She sacrificed everything for them. No! You don't say that! We gotta go back. She's gone. No! She's not. I don't believe it. If if Charles Xavier cries, then I know it's for real. I don't know, man. They gotta kill off somebody eventually in this franchise. Nope, not today. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. That's not who I'd want to be hugging. Yeah, no. Yeah. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of the death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Mm -mm. I don't. I'm not buying it. She's gonna. She's there. You think she's alive? She's under all that water, bro. Yeah, but she had like fire in her eyes. I think like she can do something with that. Today I've been given an opportunity to shed light on recent occurrences from the attack that ended in this office. Do we like this word annihilating? <laughs> That's a strong word. Right. Mr. President, we're live in five, four. In this time of adversity, we are being offered a moment. A moment to recognize a growing threat within our own population. Uh oh. Storm? Seems like it. Because they were headed to Washington. It must have been Charles. Professor Xavier. It's the X-Men. That'd be so scary though, dude. Dang. That was hard. <laughs> Please don't be alarmed. This is the guy who almost killed him. We're mutants. My name is Charles Xavier. These files were taken from the private offices of William Stryker. How did you get this? Well, let's just say I know a little girl who can walk through walls. <laughs> yeah, they're talking about Robin Banks. Maybe they're going to take secrets from y'all. I've never seen this information. I know. And you also know I don't respond well to threats. Mr. President, this is not a threat. There are forces in this world, both mutant and human alike, who believe that a war is coming. And there have been casualties, losses, Oh, I still don't believe it. This is a moment. A moment to repeat the mistakes of the past. 
or to work together for a better future. The next move is yours. Yeah, but he's not allowed to just say that. We'll be watching. <laughs> just in the middle of the speech. <laughs> Everyone's like, are you okay, bro? Mr. President. <laughs> We're good here. <laughs> The files. I don't know, man. That kind of seemed like bullying the president, didn't it? Even when Jean was a student, she was always hesitant about her powers, feeling that in some way she was left behind. Poor guy. Yeah, he's really hurt, ain't he? Could we have done more to save her? She's Could strong. I bet she's still alive, babe. I really believe she it. She may have let us. Why did she leave the plane? Because she made a choice. Yes, come on in. <laughs> That's that guy that helped him escape. Hey, hey. Um. Listen, she didn't make a choice. It was you. Oh. That's so nice he did that for him. That was nice. Great, now I'm starting to feel like it was kind of real. Sitting there thinking, which one of you kids will I lose next? Is everything all right? Yes, I think it will be. Have any of you read Aww. a book by an English novelist named T.H. White called The Once and Future King? The Once and Future King? You know that book? That's what Magneto was reading. Yeah, 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 Angel. Mutation. It is the key to our evolution. It is how we have evolved from a single-celled organism into the dominant species on the planet. This process is slow, normally taking thousands and thousands of years. But every few hundred millennia, evolution leaps forward. Totally wasn't aliens. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, was that like a moth under the water or something? I don't know. Did you see that? I think it was Jean. Maybe what? In the what is this? All right, guys, that was X Men's three. <laughs> Why are you calling them X Men's with the S? Because I'm from I'm from the country, bro. I, I'm sorry. You ready? Yeah. All right, guys. So that was X Men three. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just do it? Okay, guys, that was X Men two, and it it was a lot. A lot happened in that. It was very action packed. There was a lot of interesting new mutants that we met. Magneto had the sickest prison escape ever. That was. I never would have imagined that's how he got out. Don't take your vitamins, kids. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Magneto can manipulate you. Yeah, that man went in there and straight snatched the iron straight out the bloodstream, <laughs> manipulated it, turned it into little balls that he used for bullets to basically weaken the structure which that he used to get out. And then he flattened it the same way that a locomotive flattens a penny at Stone Mountain. And anyways, man, he flattened it and used it to walk right the heck out of there. That the politics crazy. are getting really deep in this, man. You're really starting to see a lot of like really personal things come into play i mean there's families that have children who have this mutant gene and it's tearing families apart mm -hmm. and they're on the verge of civil war so how do you ask someone to go you know into a civil war against their own kid? right adding that like, that's so adding hard. that into it makes it even more of a hard dilemma right yeah absolutely yeah because that that whole situation i i thought you were either a mutant because like your parents were or something were radioactive or something. Right, or just yeah so nah, just no. from birth, you can just be a mutant. Apparently. And if you're a male, apparently you carry the gene. <laughs> so this is obviously a different, like, you know, type of universe than Marvel. I saw a lot of parallels between, uh, what's the lady's name, Jean and uh, Wanda mm -hmm. in Marvel. Those two characters are eerily similar. And you guys told us early on that she was actually a mutant when we were watching the Marvel mm -hmm. movies. So that's really sick to me, man. I can really understand now and see. So I'm starting to understand what mutant powers are like compared to like, you know, like Marvel character powers. Mm -hmm. They're kind of the same, but kind of not. But right. it turns out Wolverine was a failed experiment, I guess, some type of super soldier. In a sense, he was a super soldier, a right. soldier designed by a radical guy to achieve something radical. So in a sense, like he's kind of But like he had to have way. some mutant power because he regenerates and like heals really fast. So, like, the only way he could have ever been Wolverine was by having that, which is, like, he has to be a mutant, right? So, he basically could regenerate, and so they took him, and that's why they experimented on him. I to guess make... he's the only one who could survive something like that. Right. Absolutely. That's right. brilliant. Yeah, really cool movie. You know, that's this one was a lot better than the first one, guys. So, to me, at least. I don't, yeah, I don't no, no, no. I think because the first one was more of origin, it was kind of telling us, like, the lowdown. It was slow, right. you know? But and this, this one right just... here just gave us, like, 
This it, one was just pumping, it, right? It moved the story a lot. Right. So the politics are getting really complicated, man, because somehow or another, mutants and humans are going to have to find a way to coexist. There's always going to be humans that will not give mutants fair shakes, and that's just going to be complicated. And there's going to be mutants who, at the end of the day, just want a place at the table also. Yeah. But because of their powers, they'll never be accepted. And then you have people like Charles Xavier who's trying to bridge that gap, man. He's, he's basically out there. Except for he just shook down the president, Loki. Yeah, he did kind of do that, guys. <laughs> that was low-key. I mean, I don't know about that. Yeah, I mean, when you start using intimidation tactics politically, that's called, like, well, you know let's that, not get into all that. You know, but, that's just bad, too. But Yeah, you just definitely shouldn't do that, man. But they're being manipulated, too, by Magneto, so I get that, too. And I understand he thinks for the greater purpose to yeah. save a war, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, man, you just don't know the future. So mm -hmm. you trying to save a war could end up being what escalates it, to be honest. It's just very complicated, man. You know, the only reason that I'm really kind of, like, sympathetic to the humans a lot, like, I know the movie wants me to be really sympathetic to the mutants. It's pretty obvious. And, like, I am because I really really like them they're they're great characters mm -hmm. and i was very sympathetic to the superheroes in marvel but guys in the marvel series i was very very open about the fact that they're very dangerous not only were they very dangerous they're very destructive yes. too, especially when they didn't need to be so the marvel characters are also very scary in that way and like i said man uh would you want your kid in school and one of these kids has these abilities and they get in a bad mood one day at school and they blow up the cafeteria you right. know what I'm saying? Because they don't know how to control it. It's it's just like a lie. That's just the reality of what this would actually look like. But this movie is honestly really sick, guys. I'm really happy to be here. I'm glad that we're getting into right. this. I'm and glad to see Storm um, use her power some more. Because if you want me to be honest, we didn't really get to see much of Storm in the first one. Yeah, that's one of the So it was really was cool just... to see her use her powers and like just how powerful she really is. It was cool to see Jean. She was very powerful. I still don't believe she's dead. I really don't. I, I have a good indication of these things emotionally. And that one just wasn't one for me. I don't think she's dead. I just think she's with the fishes, man. I don't. Unless she turned into that dang that uh She's coming back. I don't care what anyone says. I'm gonna find out. My girl saw a giant twenty six foot spaceship under the water and thought it was Jean at the end of the movie. She's on it. She's dead, baby. She's riding on she's it. She's dead. No, nah, she's on it. No, nah, she's dead. All right, we'll find out in the third one because she's on it. That's my prediction, man. I think she's dead, but Anyways, so Logan had a lot of character development in this one, so he's really becoming part of the team now. He right. was someone who was, you know, a rebel, and you could see that at the end of the last movie. And not really caring, just wanting to know more about himself. Right. right, and at the end of the last movie, he ra he rode off on a motorcycle that he stole, which is basically just symbolizing, like, how, how lonely, like, what a lonely statement to make about yourself, right? I'm going to mm -hmm. ride motorcycles by my lonesome. I mean, mm -hmm. you're just a very lonesome individual. Stolen motorcycles at right. that. And so that's what Logan was, but he's becoming quite the teammate, which is great. Ultimately, ma'am, we had us a love triangle. Your girl made a decision. She mm -hmm. chose. She chose. She kind of didn't really choose. She didn't really choose, man. I think in the end but of the day, in, she said. In the third one, we'll find out who she chooses when she comes back. Mark my words. Write it down. I'm really liking the story, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm really digging it. Uh, if there's anything we're missing, if oh, we're totally well, I missing guess we the can talk about something. Rogue. Rogue kind of like can kiss her boyfriend now. That's, yeah, she that's can. serious. Yeah. She can kind of kiss her boyfriend and he doesn't like die. As long as he don't stay on too long, man. <laughs> they better be pecking. Right. It seems like if they just peck, they're good. And right. Oh, well, this is YouTube. But, we can't but get she gets his, but she gets his powers. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just gonna have a lot of problems intimately. You know. What was the? What was your favorite scene in the whole thing, though? Like, what was the craziest? Because mine, I have to say, the prison escape. That was just so. Like, if I had to pick, like, a ultimate villain moment, that was like a villain moment right there. I think Halle Berry summoning tornadoes was pretty twisted. That was pretty twisted. Literally <laughs> twisted. <laughs> I like that part. Uh, this movie was really cool. This is one of my favorite movies. The best part of the movie, hands down, was Magneto taking the iron out the blood and escaping that yes. cell. I mean, I, that has to be the hardest part of the movie, right? Because how, how do they think of that? Unless it was in a comic. Like, that was insane. Right. You know, I really like this movie. I actually had a pretty easy time predicting what was going to happen in this movie. I actually got a lot of my guesses right, which most of the time I'm completely right. off base. But this is a pretty well put together movie, right. man. Um, it was a good one. It is definitely true. I, I made a comment the other day that if a movie is well written, then I shouldn't be able to predict it. Right. And the idea behind it was I'm not a very smart individual. So if you can't write something that's going to trick me, then it's probably not worth seeing. But that was pretty predictable. That was about as straightforward of a movie as you could get. But minus Gene, you were it was very real, man. Gene Gene's alive, though. Very so. real. I'm just saying, like, some movies are just more predictable than the others. Yeah. But this one was predictable in a very good way. I really like, I really like, like you said, how they portray, like, how they're portraying the humans, like, how they're making the mutants and the humans kind of coincide with each other, but also they're making the mutants very human, too. And that... And they are very human, and yeah. Yes. And, and even, you can see that. Right. And that makes it so... This is just such a dangerous thing. Like, I feel like if I speak on one side, I'm going to be upset that I didn't speak on the other. So, it's tough. 
Because I'm a human myself. I'm not really a mutant. So. I mean, it's just like real life. There's a lot of stuff like that in real life. Like, there's a lot of divisive things that we're not going to talk about on this very unified channel. Right. But in real life, there's like a lot of divisive things. And this movie sort of taps into that. Mm -hmm. And in a, in a unique way, because it's like, you know, kind of say, saying things in real life, but it, it's portraying it in a whole different way. Absolutely. So really good movie, man. I give this one a 10 out of 10. I'm actually more excited to move through the X-Men universe. Now that we completed this film, because I loved it. I yeah, it was, it was a great good one. I, I can't wait to go into three. I can't wait to see more. I kind of want to know Logan's story of more. Like, exactly, 100%. You know, I'm really interested by Professor Xavier because yeah, that dude. And is I like want to know his story, taller. too. The fact that he can link into a device and kill everyone and just how powerful he is. And, and he doesn't. Well, it's intriguing because in the Marvel Universe, like, characters are powerful and stuff. But this is, like, different. Like, right. X-Men has such a different feel than mm -hmm. like Marvel. And yeah. it's, it's very, very well done. Very well done. I was wondering if these movies were going to feel like some like knockoff Marvel right. movies, but these definitely. And and my thing was in the two, early 2000s, I was kind of like, eh, I don't know about that. Like, I, I feel like they'll be kind of corny in I mean, a way. It's okay. You're a girl. No, just... but I feel like they're corny. You know what I'm saying? Like 2000s movies, they're corny in their own way, but that's why they're good. Oh, they're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. 100%. Right. You guys can probably pick up on that. As we were watching these movies, I mean, we could you could feel that we both sort of thought in a lot of ways they were corny. I think the way that um, the dude's glasses look, you know, like the the, the Cy 2005. What is a Cyclops? I used to play for the St. Louis Cardinals with these little weird third base glasses on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are just so out of style now. But it's so fun because it's almost like jumping into a time machine. I love watching, right. like... The way old movies look, yeah. the way they feel, the transitions they use. Uh, yeah, the, the, it's, the I love the transitions they use in this and Spider-Man. Yeah, they're, they're so unique. Much fun. Like yeah. you don't see that anymore, really, unless it's like you know, you just don't actually. Even like the way they choose to like spend the screen time mm -hmm. is just a lot different now. You know, so much of what movies used to be was just facial expressions and just people. You guys get what I'm trying to say, mm -hmm. man. It's a whole different feel now. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's been the October's. Uh, like, subscribe, turn on the notification bells because you, you guys might not know, man, but just because you are subscribed to the channel and we upload a video doesn't mean you're gonna see it and it doesn't mean you're gonna know about it so plug patreon plug patreon yada 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 we really do try to give it our best over there guys we drop a lot of videos over there go look at our like playlist what are they called collections we have also shows that you guys have no idea about that we've watched that we haven't put on our youtube channel like the last of us we actually just dropped our two episodes of seinfeld that we watched and a lot of people thought that was fun so just yeah, definitely check yeah. out patreon for things that you don't see on youtube we definitely have a lot more over there yeah and we're gonna add so much more guys so mm -hmm. the collections are only gonna get bigger so if you do go over there and you are new over there a lot of people don't know but just go look through the collections it's almost the equivalent of youtube playlist yeah and you can see everything that we've ever done this is october he's a very organized because she's an organized lady mm -hmm. and guys thank you so much for rocking with us it's been the october's let's go